Our Lord Jesus Christ commanded his disciples, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God's covenant promise are extended to everyone, including our children. Hear also these words of Scripture. This promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls. Obeying Christ's commandment and trusting his promises, we baptize those whom God has called. Let us remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate this sacrament. And baptism, in God's gracious initiative, invites our faithful response. Now, if Harper and Quinn were babies, we would be making promises on their behalf. And today, because they are children, we will make promises on their behalf, their mom and dad, and their new family of faith. But Harper and Quinn are not babies, and yesterday when I was telling them that we all had important words to say today, they wondered what their important word to say today would be. So they have an important word too. So we're going to start first with their important word. Harper and Quinn, do you wish to be baptized today? Yes, okay. Jonathan and Carol, do you desire for your children to be baptized? Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? Do you confess Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, and do you trust in him? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to Harper and Quinn? Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture these children encouraging them to know and follow Christ and to be faithful members of their church? Do you? We, we do. do. Let us pray. Ever faithful God, we give you thanks for the gift of water. In the beginning, your spirit moved over the water, creating order and life. In the water of the Jordan, our Lord was baptized and anointed by your spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, we have been set free from sin and delivered from death to everlasting life. Send your spirit to move over this water, that in it we may be created anew. Embrace your children, wash away their sin, raise them to new life, and graft them to the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, that they may have the power to do your will and follow in your way. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Jonathan and Carol Sundheimer, please present your daughters for baptism. Come on over. What is the Christian name of this child? Harper May. Harper May. Harper May, child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Harper May, you are a beloved child of God. Live your life in the sure knowledge that you have been claimed by God's grace and wrapped forever in God's love. Amen. And what is the Christian name of this child? Quinn Taylor. Quinn Taylor. Quinn Taylor, child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Quinn, you are a beloved child of God. Live your life in the sure knowledge that you have been claimed by God's grace and wrapped forever in God's love. Amen. On behalf of the children of the church, I present these Bibles to Harper and to Quinn that they may grow in God's grace. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that in baptism you have claimed us as your own. 
freed us from sin and death, and joined us to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. We pray that through, through us and all your church, you will hold Harper and Quinn in your love. Guide them as they grow in faith and protect them in all dangers and temptations that they might one day confirm the promises we have made on their behalf, confessing their own faith in Jesus Christ and living a life of faithful discipleship. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Amen.